I'm going to show you a free, easy to use text to video generator, and you can make unlimited generations for free. And this is one of the best video generators I have seen that is this easy. So let's hop into it. So this AI is called Video Crafter One, and it is the result of like an ongoing research study at some universities, but we have access to use it and test with it, and we can generate some really cool results. So you can read more about it here, but it's hosted on Discord. Now I've had some issues trying to join from here, so what you'll wanna do is head down just a little bit more and click on this specifically. And this button right here doesn't work, you specifically have to click on this one that shows the members. But once you're in, you will see this screen. Now this essentially just shows you what you have available to use. And there's some really cool things that you can do here. So obviously you can do text to video, which works really well. And then you can generate videos from text and image. Although this one doesn't seem to work super well in my experience. And then what you can also do is you can upload an image and an audio file and essentially make that image talk as if it was the one talking. And it's really cool. And finally, you can do pose generation, which you can't do anything with but you can play around with it and it works really well. So in the future, you can basically expect to be able to type in a prompt and then have an AI generate a 3D model and do whatever you type. It's really cool. So let's start off with the text to video. So I've been playing around with it a little bit. Now to start, what you gotta do is you gotta type in the command and that command is slash film. Then you hit enter and then click on this prompt. And from there, you can enter in whatever prompt you want. So then you just got to think of a prompt. So I don't know, maybe like a fox drinking wine, maybe. And let's go ahead and see what this generates. Now, I will say it does take a couple minutes for it to generate, but it does end up generating some pretty good results. Now, I say good as in like good for AI video generators. They're overall not super great yet. Now, there are a few that are really getting good, but they're either really inaccessible or you have to pay, or you know you have to have a beefy computer to do it yourself. So this is just a really easy free way to do it and get some decent results. So while we're waiting for a fox drinking wine, let's go back up to one of the other results that I tried, which was a panda with a top hat. And as you can see, it's pretty good. You can see the panda, you can see the top hat. It even tried to have like the little ears sticking out here. The top hat, you don't really see the top necessarily. So, you know, that's maybe something that, and this right here. So it's not super great, but once you get to this point, it actually starts to look pretty good. You can see the panda waving and overall, that's a really good generation. You know, sure, the first couple seconds aren't super great, but at the end there, that looks pretty good. I also tried generating this taco cat dancing. Clearly it did not understand what I meant by taco cat. Um, but <laughs> it generates a cat looking over at me and then I guess shooting laser beams out of its eyes or something. I don't know, but it looks really cool. Here's another one that someone else generated that's pretty cool as well. You can see the fighter jet and some explosions and it just flying around. So that was a really good rendition. This person generated some avatar live action hype kind of stuff. So, you know, that looks pretty cool. Here's another avatar hype one that also looks pretty cool. Here's an otter eating a hamburger. This one looks really good. This is a woman walking in the beach. That almost looks like a really old video that was, you know, like shot like 20 years ago, but it's it looks realistic. It doesn't look like there's really any like AI weirdness going on. Like you could probably convince some people that this was a, just a really old video. And there's a bunch of other examples in this Discord that you can go check out. And obviously you can just go play around with it yourself as well. But let's go and check out our Fox drinking wine. So that was pretty interesting. You can see what it tried to do here. This was supposed to be the glass and I guess it was supposed to be him drinking and then putting it down. It didn't do the best job, but the motion's pretty cool. Um, so clearly it's got some work to do, but overall, you know, I think it's not too bad considering what you would get in other options out there. It's, you could tell it's foxes. You can see the wine. You can see what it's trying to do, which is better than a lot of what AI can do right now. Now, next we're going to talk about this video generation from an image and text. Now, I'm not going to spend time actually doing it because you know, I already tried it. It ultimately doesn't really work. Now the command you do with that is slash animate. And then once you have animate, you have two options. You do the image, upload the image, and then you do prompt. 
and then you just type in your prompt like normal. Now I did two different variations. One was this dog, which I thought would be pretty easy. So I just uploaded a dog image and then said, just make the dog look around. And as you can see, it doesn't move, it doesn't do anything. And then this other one was cats. I figured, okay, you got four cats there, make the cats do something. I didn't even give it much of a problem. I just said cats, make them do anything. You have creative freedom and it just did the exact same thing. So. I don't think this is working properly, so you'll have to try it and see if it is working better for you or maybe, you know, my cat animal things are just not like a good idea and maybe I should be doing something more, but go ahead and give it a try. Now this next one is working and is also really cool. And that's the talking head video generation from audio and image. So for this one, you go over to the talking video gen and do the command slash say. And then you have three things to do here. You have an image, audio, and arguments. You really don't need the arguments. I mean, they have some documentation on specifics with that, but for this test, we don't need it. So for the image, we're going to upload, I don't know, let's just say Jim Carrey here. And then for the audio, I generated some 11 labs, just, hi, this is a test or something. And then let's hit enter and see what this does. Now this one specifically is going to take some time, but let's go ahead and see some of the other pre-generated ones. So for example, I generated this one earlier and let's give it a watch. Dwight get back to work. So as you can see, the audio, it just put the audio in there and it gave it a still image and it generated really nicely. Like the text, like the mouth movements are really good and crisp and it with the audio, and he even moves his head around. It just looks really good. And as we were looking at that one, this one actually finished way sooner than I thought it would. So let's give this one a watch. Hello, this is a test. So that was pretty good, except one thing that I've noticed is if their mouth is open, then it tends to not register it. So he was already smiling, like this was the base image, and then it tries to animate the mouth that's already smiling, so it ends up not looking super great. So if you want to get a great you know, mouth, you got to do something where the mouth is already like shut and not like smiling or doesn't really have any emotions. And then the AI will be able to generate it based off of this. This was the original image. And then it's able to open the mouth and add teeth after. So if we were to do that exact same one, but with someone whose mouth was closed, let's say Willy Wonka here, and we'll just do this exact same audio, it should be much better. So we'll come take a look at this after it's done. Let's check out this one. This one seems to be like a news anchor. So that one generated really nicely. I do notice that the head movement is kind of robotic and it's like doing the exact same thing, but the mouth looks really good. This one looks like it might be interesting. Let's check this one out. Listen up, people. The Aqua Cure AI is here and I'm on a mission, a mission to transform your health, wealth, and relationship with water. Do you think the water you use is good enough? Think again. Every time you touch and sip that stuff, it's dragging your body and bank account down. So this one is really good. Notice how the mouth isn't really opening, but that's because his mustache is so large that, you know, it, it almost covers the mouth, but it looks natural to me. It doesn't look like there's anything wrong. Like it opens the mouth enough to where... I would think that, okay, yeah, the mustache is actually covering it. And as you can see, it turns the head really nicely here too. So overall, I feel like this generates, you know, a really good rendition. Like we've seen stuff like this before, but usually like with this, you would see like the head turn be awkward or like the glasses or the mouth would get super deformed. But as long as the mouth is closed when you first upload the image, it does a really good job. Now our second variation is done, so let's go ahead and give this a watch. Hello, this is a test. I think that did a really good job. You can see the movement here. It did mess up a little bit right there, but overall everything else is pretty much perfect. And you can see it does the hat really nicely, and he his the way that his head moves looks really realistic. So overall, I think this is one of the best looking like AI talking head video generators out there. And as you saw back up here, you can have like audio clips that are minutes and minutes long. So you can really get creative with like long text and then just send these videos out for fun. And finally, let's check out this pose generation because it is really cool. So for this, you do slash pose. And then you only have one thing, it's the prompt there. So I'm gonna say a person break dancing, and then we're gonna send that off. And then it generates a video like this. So earlier I had a person bowing as a prompt, and this is what it generated. 
So as you can see, it does a really good job capturing the like the bow animation here. Now the arms are a little bit awkward and obviously it's a blue man. It doesn't, you know, look super great and the angle is kind of weird, but this just shows the future of what's going to be possible with animation and modeling. So, you know, right now it's in the very, very early stages, but the fact that we can even do this is awesome. Now here's one, a person sits down on the floor and then he stands up and walks forward. So this is getting pretty elaborate. So let's take a watch. So as you can see, it didn't really finish here. I wonder if there's like a cap for how long the videos can be, but it sits down and the animation for sitting down is really good. Like this is what you would see from, you know, maybe like an older kind of person like trying to get down, like with the support of the arms. So the animation here is so realistic and then sitting down, like the way that it sits down from an angle here and doesn't just like sit down fully backwards, super realistic and is just really promising for the future of AI, you know, animation. And then it starts to stand up, which is really cool. Here's one, a person doing a backflip and then kicking and punching someone. And then this one has some arguments here, length 120 and roll as Thor. So let's give this one a watch. So we can see here, it looks like this one does a front flip, which, you know, it said back flip, but that's pretty close. And then it goes and then like kicks the air, which, you know, like I said, it's really good for the time period and how early of a stage this is. And the fact that you can specify the role as Thor and then the length, although the length doesn't really seem to do anything. But like over here, you can see Eric from uh, South Park over here. So that's pretty cool. So it looks like you have a lot of options with what you can do. This one looks really good too. We got Groot dancing over here. So yeah, the options are endless and this is only going to get much better. So I didn't realize this until now, but it gave us an illegal input. So uh, we'll have to get something else. Let's just try a man dancing and see what that gives us. All right, there we go. We got our man dancing here. So let's check this out. I don't know if I would exactly call this dancing more like running around, but you get the idea. If I had been a little bit more specific, it might have given us a better output. Um, but yeah, the fact that we can do text to animation is just so crazy. So yeah, that was the four different kinds of video generation that this site can do. Well, it's a discord, but you know, this AI can do. And like I said, this is completely free. You can do this an unlimited number of times. You get the results back relatively quickly. So this is just a really fun thing to play around with. So definitely go check it out. I'll have the link to the website down in the description below so you can go join the Discord. And to discover more cool AI tools like this, check out our website at ai-search.io.